Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we're going to be using this special Pythagorean identity to calculate the exact value of a trigonometric function given the exact value of one of the other trigonometric functions. But in some cases, you're also given a restriction on the angle. And so in this tutorial, we're going to be focusing on how this restriction changes the exact value of the function we're trying to calculate. So let's have a look at this first example. Given that sine of theta equals four over five and theta is an obtuse angle, find the exact value of cos of theta. So here we're given already that sine of theta is equal to four over five. And what makes this question different is that we're also given this restriction on the angle that theta is an obtuse angle. And we've been asked to find the exact value of cos of theta. Now, for a moment, we're just going to ignore this restriction and try and calculate the exact value as though the restriction wasn't given to us, okay? So given the fact that we already have the exact value of sine of theta and we are trying to find that of cos of theta, well, we can use this special identity to isolate the cos theta term by subtracting sine squared theta from both sides to get the following. One minus sine squared theta is equal to cos squared theta. By subbing in the exact value of sine of theta into this equation, we get one minus four over five all squared is equal to cos squared theta. Squaring the brackets on the left-hand side, we get one minus 16 over 25 is equal to cos squared theta and doing 1 minus 16 over 25 gives us 9 over 25 is equal to cos squared theta. So now we have an exact value for cos squared theta. In order to find the exact value for cos of theta, we simply need to take the square root of both sides, which gives us the following. Cos of theta is equal to plus or minus 3 over 5. So we've now just worked out two possible values for cos of theta plus or minus three over five. But we need to determine which is the correct value given the facts we've been given in the question. The first is that sine of theta is equal to four over five and the second is that theta is an obtuse angle. Given the first fact, we can use our cast diagram to determine which are the possible quadrants or angle can lie in. Here we're given that sine of theta is equal to four over five and therefore sine is positive. And we know that sine is positive in our first and second quadrant. So now we need to determine, well, what is the exact quadrant or angle is going to lie in? That's gonna tell us whether cos of theta is positive or negative. If it lies in this quadrant, our all quadrant, well, we know that all functions are positive in this quadrant and therefore cos of theta is positive. If it lies in this quadrant, well, we know that cos of theta is negative in this quadrant where sine is positive and therefore cos of theta would be negative. Now the second fact here, the fact that theta is an obtuse angle, tells us exactly what quadrant we lie in. From our angle properties, we should already know that an obtuse angle is an angle between 90 and 180 degrees. And therefore we can see that the only way for our angle to be obtuse is by drawing the angle from the positive x-axis towards the reference line in the second quadrant. And you can clearly see when we shade this angle that it's an obtuse angle. So now we know that our angle lies in the second quadrant and we already said that cos of theta is negative in the second quadrant and therefore we've now found that cos of theta is equal to negative 3 over 5. Okay. If we were told in the question that the angle theta was an acute angle, then we would have fallen into our first quadrant. As you can see, this angle here would be the acute angle. And because all functions are positive here, that would have meant that cos was positive, okay? So you can see how the restriction on the angle 
really does affect our answer. Okay, let's look at our final question. Given that cos of theta is equal to negative three over four, and theta is a reflex angle, find the exact value of sine of theta. So here we're given that cos of theta is equal to negative three over four. And as we need to find the exact value of sine of theta, we can use this identity to isolate the sine theta term by subtracting cos squared theta from both sides of the equation to get one minus cos squared theta is equal to sine squared theta. We can then sub in the value for cos of theta into this equation to give us one minus minus three over four all squared is equal to sine squared theta. If we just square the brackets on the left hand side, we get one minus nine over 16 is equal to sine squared theta. And if we do one minus nine over 16, on the left hand side, we get seven over 16 is equal to sine squared theta. Now to get the exact values for sine of theta, we need to take the square root of both sides. And this gives us the sine of theta is equal to plus or minus the square root of seven over four. So now we need to simply determine whether we take the positive or negative of this value. And we can use a cost diagram for this. Now we're told that cos of theta is equal to negative three over four. And so cos is negative and therefore lies in our second and third quadrant. So these are the two possible quadrants where our angle can lie. We're also told that theta is a reflex angle. And we should know from our pro angle properties that a reflex angle is an angle between 180 and 270 degrees. And so the only way that theta can be a reflex angle is if we draw an angle from our positive x-axis to the reference line in the third quadrant. And shading this angle in hopefully shows more clearly that this is a, a reflex angle. So now we've been able to hone this in to one quadrant, our third quadrant, and we should know that sine is negative in this quadrant and therefore since sine is negative in the third quadrant this means that sine of theta is equal to negative root 7 over 4 okay if you like this video please give us a thumbs up leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos